Hey everybody, it's attorney Richard Seller here. Uh, another video update, May 27th, 2020. I've given up on uh, combing my hair until I can get a haircut. Um, I know barbershops are open, but I'm still playing it slow. So apologize for the hat and the, and the relaxed wear. You know, it's funny. Um, I was watching the TV show Billions last night and I've come to the realization that being a lawyer has ruined television watching for me in its entirety. You know, I watch a show, like I love the show The Office and I see some of the things that Michael Scott does and like from an HR or an EEOC or a human rights perspective, I'm like, I, it ruins it for me because I start thinking, well, that's illegal and that's... So anyway, I was watching the show Billions last night and there was a situation where the therapist, season two, um, goes back to work for the company after having a dispute with Axe, who's the, the main character. And I started thinking to myself, that never really works in real life. And it's a question I always get as a lawyer is, well, I got fired and part of what I want is I want to go back to work for the company. That's part of what I want you to demand in addition to monetary damages. And so last night I'm watching this um, and it got me thinking, that's not really something that ever works out in real life. And let me explain to you why and why clients ask for it. And while I tell them I can ask for it, but it's not good for you, and it's not going to be good for the company. Imagine that you've been fired. It's a breakup, right? There's now a, an abuse of trust or a breach of trust from one end to the other. You know, you've been fired or you quit. Um, so why would you want to go back to work for a company that has either treated you illegally or unfairly? Okay, so what if I force that situation? We go to court and we win. And one of the things we can ask for is reinstatement, that you be forced back into the company. Think about that from a relationship perspective, okay? There's now hurt feelings on both sides. In 20 plus years of doing this, I've seen a reinstatement to a job after termination work twice, okay? And it was where both parties just, you know, got emotional in the moment, had been together for a long time, the employee had been there forever, the employer was apologetic and said, I made a mistake, I reacted, come back, and everything worked out happily ever after. But again, real life context, if I force you back into that workplace, okay, because that's what you want, just know that your days are still going to be numbered there moving forward because your employer is taking you back after you've now hired me or another lawyer to sue them and force their hand, okay? So I generally don't recommend reinstatement. Instead, my approach or technique is usually to ask in lieu of reinstatement to provide my client or the employee with an additional compensation to make up for what's been lost due to the firing. I'm a big believer in fresh starts. If you break up, don't go back to a toxic relationship. Even, you know, I guess we become dependent. You know, we become used to working in the same place and at the same desk and there's a, a feeling of comfort that comes with that. But again, reinstatement, I always recommend against it. Also, from the court's perspective, the courts are generally reluctant to force that reinstatement back on employers for the same reasons I've described. If you broke up, even if they treated you unfairly, you don't want to go back there. Move on. Because the employer wants to move on too. And I, again, with the exception of the very limited circumstances, I've never seen it work out in any long-term capacity. Because the second the employee goes back, they start being monitored more closely because they can't be trusted because they hired a lawyer, vice versa. Everything that the employer does once the employee goes back to work is scrutinized where my client is calling me and saying, hey, they did this, they did that. And it just, it's just, it's a bad beat. So thanks to uh, my law degree, TV is now ruined forever. I'll keep watching. Um, but tip of the day, reinstatement, here's why you shouldn't go back to work. Stay safe, everybody. World's getting back to normal. Questions, whatever, visit us, floridaovertimelawyer.com. Visit our YouTube channel. Look for Richard Seller Legal. Or you can always email us, intake at floridaovertimelawyer.com. Bye, guys.